Look at this ugly camera. This is the Bronica ETR, and I know what you're thinking. It's not the Hasselblad 500C or the Pentax 67, but that's okay because I'm not Jesse Monday. This is one of the cheapest, most modular medium format systems I have ever used, and I've used like three medium format cameras. My first thought was, how can I make this cinematic? The answer was to shoot in an absurdly wide aspect ratio regardless of what's in front of the camera. I can't afford an X-Pan or the Bronica ETR 135W film back, and I can't just go buy a mod kit for my 6.7 like Jesse Monday. So I had to use my brain. The ETR is a 6.45 camera with a native 4x3 aspect ratio, and that just looks like the old TVs from my childhood, which are not cinematic. So I changed that. I took a useless everyday item like my business card and made the cinematic aspect ratio I wanted. 1 to 2.3 to be exact. The script has a crank on it that needs to be cranked twice to advance the film all the way, but since my frame was now only half the height, I was only going to need to advance half as much, so just one crank. So when trying to do my panoramic shots, I would just shoot with this nifty little lever set to the multiple exposure mode, flip it up, crank once, flip it back down, and crank again. The film only advances when the lever is up. This works perfectly in theory. It did not work perfectly in practice. Every other frame was overlapping oddly consistently. I'm not mad at the external results, but it's just not what I had intended. I had to run some tests to figure out how to get it to advance just enough but not too much. I could manually turn the crank on the back itself after pressing this little pin. This still advances more than I want, but it's also the cause of the overlap since it only advances when the pin is set, and the pin doesn't release until the winder is turned a certain amount, which is a little too much. This is the hard kind of trial and error you have to do when you're not a part of the 1%. So for now I'm just going to load up another roll and continue trying to get this to work flawlessly. 